All right, so today I've just picked up another Suzuki GS450. Uh, I got this way up north in Holland. It was nearly inside the sea. So that's why I'm eating fried fish right now, which is not the best ever, but anyway. I'm hungry, I've been driving for like four hours. Anyway, I bought this GS because I know the bike, I've got so many spare parts, and I know it really well now, so I'm gonna build another one. And I chose this one because it's in parts, it's in boxes, as you can see. But it's already done some work on the frame, it's completely sandblasted. But look at those rims. These are rims with stainless steel spokes. That's cool. Those wheels are brilliant. Now, he didn't know what type they were. Not original uh, Suzuki, uh, but they were done by some old geezer who used to do this. He was pretty good. Uh, I can't remember his name. I'll put it in the link below. Uh, I think he passed away, but he was uh, a known person for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, he did do a really good job. So those rims were just the seller for me. But also, look at that. There is a complete seat and that's that's really hard uh, it's got a matching front fender and a tank which is custom made unfortunately the tank fell so there's a big dent in it but that is the only thing so i'm not pretty sure what i'm going to do with that and of course uh the rest of the bike is in bits and pieces and i've got a you can't see it it's behind there somewhere an engine of course a working one oh, it's got exhaust with mufflers and everything so i'm gonna put these on the uh on my own gs but those wheels are they are really cool i'm in the middle of nowhere but it's uh, looking pretty good um cost me a couple of euros but I think it's well spent, so I'm going to push aside the CX, I just don't know that bike enough, and I know this one. So I'm just going to up my skills again with another Suzuki, of course I keep my own, but I can sell this one. Oh man, here we go again. Okay, so this is the frame we're working with. Now they've already done some modifications to it. Uh, I'm just gonna flip you around a bit. They've changed this because the tank that is uh, they've used is a custom-made tank. So it's not the original GS450 tank. I think that tank actually came from a Honda CV550 or something, and they've actually cut it up and they've made some modifications. It looks really great. It's got two big dents now, however, and the paint has been damaged. But other than that, the tank is beautiful. They've made this modification. They've closed this up, so it puts in some steel plates and they've covered that up with some Bondo. Obviously, they've uh, installed a hoop and they've made a platform on which to put the, um, the seat that comes with this. The bear is going to be in the back and put all the other stuff here. But the frame needs obviously a primer uh, and a paint job and I'm not going to do that myself. I've learned that from my previous projects and I'm going to let this powder coat.
these are the exact same ones I've got on my other GS. So. So the story with this bike behind me is that it was I bought it from a guy who worked at a paint shop uh, up north in Holland. Now the bike is a Suzuki GS450L, same as I have done before. It's from 1983. Now this bike uh, used to be uh, used by them as an errand bike when it was like really crappy looking. Uh, it was so crappy that they would run their errands with it. The guy would dump the bike somewhere. He would run the errands and then later pick up the bike again because uh, it was so crappy. So they decided to updo the bike and make it into a nice cafe racer to display in their shop. So they did a really cool paint job because they are a paint shop, obviously. They did some modifications on the frame. Uh, they had it on display as they were building it with the spoke wheels uh, and the beautiful paintwork on the bike. I'll show that later. And then the claiming lady came round and knocked the tank or the entire bike over, damaging the tank. Anyway, the bike tipped over. Uh, they were really fed up with it. Uh, so some guy decided I might rebuild it again for them, but he had too many projects. So he decided in accordance with them, to sell it and that's where I came in. So this is the engine we've got. This is a uh, engine from a GS 450L. There's a few things I want to change. Most of the seals on these sides have been done with like a liquid gasket. So I'm going to order a gasket set to get some proper gaskets in this thing. These intake rubbers, they look really good. They look better than the one I've got on my other bike. I haven't looked at the valve yet. We'll do that later. Uh, there seems to be no uh, leakage on anything on the bike. It's just really dirty. I think this chain tensioner bolt is different. Spark plugs are in, so that's a good sign because then the uh, cylinders won't rust up. Color is uh, light gray and black. Bit of cleaning. Um, not gonna do much more than that. So that is the engine.
custom seat. It was pretty good. You can take it off. This is the back side. Now look at the paint. That's pretty good. Some little markings here and there, but nothing too bad. Now, next, the fuel tank. Now that is a cool fuel tank. This is not original. It's got these nice dents here. The paint is absolutely lovely. But, however, with, as the story goes, there's a damage here and there's a big dent here. So that is a shame. But it is a story of this bike. So I might just keep it like that. Because otherwise it's magnificent. It's like really good detail. See the little grey marking? So. This is another bike, still needs a lot of work.